this is a gate 2019 question so let's solve this consider the following relations table p table q table r these tables are given to you okay and how many tuples will be returned by the following relational algebra query here if you notice so this query has basically uh, this part i can say okay this part uh, minus this part right okay so this part if minus this part so this is the query a and maybe you can call it b okay so we want a minus b we want a minus b so first you tell me what is the result of a in the a what you are doing first of all you are doing the cross product on the cross product you are doing the selection condition what is this tell me whenever you do cross product followed by selection condition what that means tell me w cross product y whenever you do this okay and followed by selection condition followed by selection condition what we call it this complete thing this complete thing is basically known as the the conditional join right this is called the conditional join so this is your theta join or you can call it conditional join you can call it theta join or you can call it conditional join now in this question what expression a is on on that you focus what is expression a that is basically p uh, cross r so that is the cross product followed by this selection condition so i can call i can say that basically ultimately this is pi of x pi of x in, inside what you have inside you have uh, p and this this condition y okay this uh, conditional join so this conditional join y p dot y is equal to r dot y and uh, r dot v is equal to v2 so p dot y is equal to r dot y okay their y attribute must be same p dot y should be equal to r dot y and uh, r dot v should be equal to v2 and and r dot v should be equal to v2 okay so this is the question now let's see now let's solve this there is equality condition only in this condition there is only equality condition let's focus on a let's focus on a so p comma r these two tables we want such that this should be equal to this correct okay these two should be equal these two should be equal and this should be equal to v2 this should be equal to v2 right okay so py should be equal to ry and this should be equal to v2 so here i can say this is gone and here i can say this is gone sorry uh, these these are gone these this and this they are gone right finally what you will do now you will combine them such that these y values must be same okay so there is no y3 here there is no y3 here so this y3 is also a dangling tuple so if you notice these three okay these three they are going to become uh, from a point of view from this a point of view if you if you look at this a from this a point of view these are dangling tuples correct yes or no i can say these are dangling tuples of r okay in a correct yes or no so, uh, these are dangling tuples of these are dangling tuples of r in a in the query a in query a right okay so is this clear so these are the dangling tables so finally what will happen only this combination will happen that here y value is same as and this value okay only this combination is going to happen nothing else yes or no is this clear these will be the dangling tuples of these will be dangling tuples of p in query a in query a these will be the dangling tuples right because they are not joining so ultimately i can say what will be the answer for pi x we want pi x so what that answer will be so here the answer will be this here the answer will be what will be the answer that will be x y z followed by y b followed by r dot y v and you can call it and you can call it p dot y v uh, okay p dot y so finally okay only this table you will get there will be there will be x2 there will be y2 there will be z2 and okay x2 y2 z2 and y2 v2 and y2 v2 only this table you are going to get in your answer and from this if i find pi x okay if i only find pi x 
this x attribute this x attribute i find then i will get only x2 okay then i will get only x2 this is going to be the answer for query a this is your query a answer is this clear to everyone please tell me now tell me the output for query b in b what you are doing again the same thing q cross r followed by a condition followed by a condition again the same thing is happening so you are doing this q cross r again the same thing if you have two tables if i give you two tables t1 cross t2 and if you do this followed by selection condition then remember that is same as conditional join that is same as conditional join here actually you are doing the conditional join okay so this same thing you have to do so if you look at the query b this query b is basically i can say pi x again we are okay finding x but in what so we have q r okay so this conditional join this is the conditional join q r and you can notice the condition is this the condition is q dot y equal to r dot y q dot t greater than 2 okay so the condition is q dot y equal to r dot y okay and q dot y is equal to r dot y and uh, q dot t greater than 2 q dot t greater than 2 okay so this is the condition so using this condition tell me so this would happen q dot y should be equal to r dot y this value should be equal to this value they must be equal and remember they must be equal and q dot t must be greater than 2 okay q dot t this this value this value must be greater than 2 okay so finally if you do this then ultimately i can say this will be gone this will uh, sorry uh, this t value must be greater than 2 so this will be gone this will be gone so these are dangling tuples and you can notice what will happen this y value should be equal to this y value so here this uh, this y2 it will match with this these two so okay this tuple will match with this also this tuple will match with this also okay so this this will match with this and this and this tuple will match with this tuple will match with this okay so ultimately three tuples you are going to get right so here in the query b if you look at this area if you look at this part then you will get x you will get y you will get and i can say q dot y t you will get and r dot y and b you will get so there will be you will get total three tuples you are going to get okay total three tuples those three tuples are x1 y2 5 okay x1 y2 5 and ultimately that will be y3 y2 v2 uh, y2 v3 okay so that will be i can say y3 v2 and y2 v3 okay so this and also one more tuple you will get what is that tuple one more tuple will be x1 y16 x1 y16 and followed by y1 v1 y1 v1 tell me will you do like this will you write all the tuples in the gate exam in the gate exam will you write all the tuples all these tuples will you write no you will directly find the value of x we are only interested in finding the value of x so definitely actually you will only find the value of x so the value of x you will find are you getting my point value of x you will find so you will not write remember in the gate exam you don't have to do this in the gate exam you have to save time save time in the gate exam you don't have to do, do this in the gate exam your target is to find the value of x1 so ultimately if you project the x only if you project x only then you will get x1 so here you are getting x1 and here you are getting x2 now tell me a minus b now tell me what a minus b will be in a you are getting x2 okay in a you are getting x2 in a you are getting x2 in b you are getting x1 okay so what will be a minus b what will be a minus b that will be x2 that will be x2 y2 that is y2 so anyway your focus should be only on the value of x so you only want to find the value of x so ultimately your answer will be that answer will be how many tuples here okay only one tuple only one tuple so your answer actually will be okay only one how many tuples will be there only one tuple will be there but tell me in the gate exam how will you solve this question the same question if this comes in the gate exam then how will you solve first of all in the gate exam don't don't write okay so 
in the gate exam you don't have to do this much in the gate exam you don't have to do this okay don't write this don't write this don't write this okay directly write this yes or no correct or not okay in the gate exam you don't have to write this and this so just you will write only this correct or no tell me yes or no so just look at the table and write only this so save time in the gate exam you have to save time look at the table and only write this only write this nothing else okay similarly in gate exam will you write this okay don't write this don't write this don't create this just directly write this yes or no okay in the gate exam your focus should be only on i can say getting the answer okay from the tables you just get your answer that's it okay but be careful you should not make a mistake don't make any mistake okay here you will get x2 here you will get x1 because you can clearly see that here definitely you will get x1 this you will get here x1 and here actually you will get x2 only here you will get this answer only okay so this is the idea here you will get this answer only and here you will get this x1 answer only so finally i can say your final answer will be only one one tuple will be there in the final relation